Hi all, welcome to the series of interview questions front end every day with a vision to make uh, every day better with a smaller step. So today we'll be seeing question 26 of this series and uh, today's question is what is duct typing? Let me give you a context of this before uh, jumping into the definition. Okay. Yeah. In case of languages like Java or C++, if you want to make an object look like a duck, right? That is, you want to uh, substitute this object in place of duck so that you can call uh, the methods of duck like uh, maybe a quack and walk. If you want to do it in that way, what you need to do is, only way you can do it is, you have to make the duck and the uh, other object, other object A maybe, inter, uh, implement the common interface, right? Common interface of duck and the other object. So that uh, the compiler will allow you to call the quack and walk on the on your other object because both duck and uh, your, your other object implement the same common interface which has the quack and walk so it will allow you to execute the methods on the object this uh, this is called a strong, strongly type you are more concerned about the type so that uh, you can call the methods right quack and walk but uh, in case of javascript we don't have uh, such a strong type it is not a such a strong type language so in that in javascript if you want to make a object look like a duck it is enough that you have just the methods quack and walk in the object that is enough okay you need not have the same it need not have the same type or it need not inherit from the other object nothing like that that is not needed it is enough that it has the quack and walk object in it okay so that is called duct typing okay so let's move into the definition so uh, normally what they used to say is if it warts like a du duck and quacks like a duck it is a duck so what it they mean is if it has some method of walk if it has a method walk and quack of a duck then it is a duck okay so in case of duck typing it is more concerned about what it can do and by not by what it is actually okay it is more concerned about the methods and operations available in it rather than what class and what type it is Okay, this is called that typing, right? Hope uh, this is clear for you all. Okay, let's see a simple example. So consider I have a duck object. I have walk, quack in it. Okay, if I want to have some animal look like a duck, I just need to add these two methods, walk and quack in it. Okay, and uh, if I have a check whether it is a duck object, it is a duck object because it has a walk. It has a walk of which is walk. I have a value assigned to it, let's, and it has a quack function. Then it is a duck. Okay. So, uh, obviously, these two check will return as true. Now, this has become, the sum animal has become a duck by just having the walk and quack methods in it. Walk and walk property and quack methods in it. So, that's how it is so simple. Okay, this is called as duck typing. Just by introducing the methods, you are making it look like a duck okay in case of uh, javascript a very common example which is built in is the iterator okay 
to make i triple object to make any object as i triple object in javascript it is just enough to have the iterator key iterator uh, function available in your object that is more than enough if you have just that uh, defined okay in your object then this can be called as iteratable iterable object in javascript okay we will uh, see in detail maybe in the next question how we can make any object as a iterable object okay but just for now you just understand it is a duct typed because just by having the iterable iterator or function implemented in your object it becomes a iterable object iterable it can be called as a iterable but if you compare it with java and c c++ there you might have seen it has to implement a iterator interface then only it can be called as a iterable object but in case of javascript just by having that method iter iterable iterator method in your object it can be called as iterable object and it can be used in the for loop as well since it is a iterator hope uh, this is uh, hope this is clear for you all thank you guys have a nice day